I cannot believe we're in week seven already. And like I said last week, if you didn't watch week six, that's a vlog you've got to watch. You've got to watch that one before you watch any of the ones moving forward. If you've been behind, go and watch that one. So much happened that week and we just had an epiphany last week in week six and halfway and going forward, I just feel like, I don't know, I can't even describe it. Like I've kind of felt like in week four, uh, what was it week four and five kind of like eh, in a rut like not going anywhere and then all of a sudden I feel like a layer of skin or something came off of me that's just the way that I feel and that's just to show you guys that you have to be patient you have to trust in this process that's what the whole vlog was about last week trust in it because look I was kind of like getting skeptical myself y'all know I kept mentioning like oh I need to adjust things and then it all just fell into place so you just have to be patient us as humans we're like the most impatient creatures on the planet we've got to learn to be patient trust in what you're doing knowing what you're doing is going to be good for your overall health in your body and if you're doing things the right way and you know you're not straying away you are going to see success went up today on weights we went up today on reps on things I totally pushed myself it was a beast mode of a session and I'm still like trying to catch my breath and I've been resting for a while now in the massage chair and everything it was one of those where I freaking dusted myself and I am here for it hundred percent the whole point of this cut is to get stronger and I feel like we are totally doing that on 1700 calories it's just mind-blowing to me how I should have been pushing myself way more with way more food back then and going forward we know that we can and that we will and hopefully we will continue to see more gains and more results even when we go into reverse and get back to maintenance this morning we had the blueberry French toast casserole from Elise Ellis that's on her Instagram really good I feel like those casseroles and stuff though are better when the bread is like 
stale like in in bread puddings and stuff i'm making a raspberry bread pudding tonight by her that's in february 22's meal plan it's going to be delicious i know but my bread's like not stale like i like it to be stale and like crusty and that way when you soak in all that stuff and it bakes it's just like perfection and mine's like all soft right now like i should have bought that ish like a week ago it's all good though it was delicious nonetheless with the egg beaters and the coffee so freaking bomb and that green goddess seasoning from trader joe's if you're not on that that's like my new favorite seasoning of all like to go on chicken to go on the eggs it is just so freaking tasty i did not get it from trader joe's i mentioned last week i got it off of amazon in a two-pack more money but it's worth the trip for me because the freaking gas prices are 320 i know they're higher where you guys are don't come for me 320 is a lot for your girl because we were like two something like not too long ago this inflation has got to go also a little update on the planet fitness booty stalker so he was in there today i was on the hip abduction machine today and he was like next to me the dude's got a problem like no lie he i don't know like somebody needs to report him like i might even report him because it's ridiculous how he gawks how he gawks and like i have a freaking t-shirt on i made sure to cover my ass with it too because i'm like dude you're not getting a glimpse today but he's like doing all this like breaking his neck every time i went to get up to clean the machine and stuff afterwards i'm like you've got a problem like he's probably there just for that because you don't really see him doing much the entire time so we might need to report the planet fitness booty stalker what do you guys think i don't know like i feel like i shouldn't but i should for everybody's booty sake always some kind of drama going on up in my gym like my gym's awesome i love planet fitness i have so many people that hate on it but i even watch um gus mc I think that's how you say his last name here on YouTube and he did a whole video about going to Planet Fitness for the first time because they just opened one near him and he taught and like he's bodybuilder type he talked about how great it was and how you can get such a great workout so you can get a great workout at Planet Fitness if you know what you're doing if you know what you're doing you can get a total awesome workout and I love the camaraderie at my gym everybody's so nice except for you know your occasional gray person but overall I love Planet Fitness so much so I hope you guys are having an awesome day starting off I hope you freaking went beast on your workout whenever you're watching today. Get in a positive headspace. If you had too many snacks at the Super Bowl, it's okay. What's past is past. Go back and erase what you did. All you can do is make good decisions going forward. And one meal's not going to make you fat, just like one meal's not going to instantaneously make you skinny. So get all those negative feels out your head. If you got on the scale and it's up six pounds since the day before, it's water. It's not fat. Don't fret. Just keep on trucking on, doing what you're doing, and you're going to see results mind guys you got to work that mind before anything else that's going to be either your make it or break it so i'm like so rude today is valentine's day and i didn't even wish you guys happy valentine's day happy valentine's day i mentioned the live it's not my my jam it's not our thing however it is my mom's thing and always has been and look how sweet my my mama is so i rolled up from the gym and she has sent me a million white roses like how pretty is that i'm always telling my husband i'm like don't buy me flowers because they're so expensive i'd rather get like some ish off amazon or some buff bunny my mom has always been a valentine's girl and she has always like made valentine's day super sweet and special since we were kids and still continues to do so at 38 years old like how sweet is that she sent the boys these huge boxes from amazon that are filled with like snacks and valentine's stuff how cute is that? I mean, that's the extent I go to. I made some Funfetti cupcakes for the boys and I have little bags with some treats in it. We don't go crazy and me and the husband, we don't buy anything for each other. We're just like, happy Valentine's Day this morning. Give each other some kisses and we are good to go. But I just had to share how sweet my mama is. Just got off the phone with my mama. Thanked her for everything. 1217. We are doing pita pizzas this week inspired by macros with M on Instagram. These are the Joseph's lavish pita breads. They are awesome. If you're cutting 60 calories, six grams of protein and even lower on the carb side. So what I did, I got a little tweaking to do. This is the first time I'm making it, but I have like so much piled up because I was overestimating things in my carb manager. We might reduce it. Maybe not. 200 grams of blackberries, a ton of blackberries, popcorn. I'm doing the lesser evil avocado delicious. I got this from Walmart online right now. They don't have this one or the cheese one that I got that I really loved, but I can tell you, I wouldn't buy this one again. It's not my favorite. It just tastes plain. I like the pink Himalayan one way better than this one. And the cheese one is 
expire. I've got all kinds of stuff on this. I am going to film this for that top five, like low calorie, high protein, anabolic lunch recipes. But I will tell you, I just put this premium white chicken on there for convenience. But like I said, I've got some tweaks to do. The base is Classico Alfredo. I've got some sugar-free raised barbecue sauce on top, all kinds of veggies, some bacon. We got a lot going on. 445 calories and 35 grams of protein for this entire plate. Not gonna lie, high volume. That's what anabolic's all about. You're going to feel full until your next meal. You're not gonna feel like you are in a cut at all. I'm telling you, it is the way. I am not a fan of this premium white chicken. It's okay in a pinch, I guess, but we can do better. So I'm glad today was like a trial run. I have a bunch of that Members Mark Sam's Club pulled pork in the freezer from last time we made it. We had a little bit left over. I'm going to put that on here and make a barbecue bacon pulled pork pita pizza. Doesn't that sound bomb? So I'm glad I went through it first before I film it for that video for you guys. And I adjusted some things in my car manager and hopefully tomorrow, fingers crossed, it will come out in perfection. Mondays are my new like dedicated, clean, organized day because I can get some stuff done on Mondays. The other days I can't with work and everything. But Trey put lots to do on my to-do list today, son. Like I mentioned in the lunchbox video, he's going through some phases, y'all, where he's doing some quirky-ish. And the other night he had a little party in the middle of the night and took all the crap out of the... You see how everything's just like, oh my gosh. And... Thought he was doing good. He thinks he's doing something in his mind, like he's organizing things in his own way, but he's making a hot mess express for mama. And now, like I don't have enough to do, I've gotta organize and put all these clean clothes back where they go. However, I'm able to cull through and see what doesn't fit him anymore and get things ready for spring and summer. So I guess we can thank Trey, but are your kids that have special needs going through things? Like he goes through phases in and out. They go away, they never come back. Sometimes they do, but they are like time consuming for your girl. Snack time, protein. Gotta get Trey off the bus in a minute. Let's say now, do all the things. I've been super productive, let me tell you. Got the boys' doors all organized. Everything looks good. Been picking up, doing all the randomness that accumulates into a whole freaking day. Do you feel me out there? You like the little random things takes a whole day. Like what the actual hell? But we're getting it done. That's what Mondays are for. Did I get everything crossed off? No, but we got most of it crossed off and I am happy about it. We've got gains. Gains all around. Protein gains. 43 grams of protein. 265 calories. I prepped a ton of the Good and Gather chicken tenders with all the new seasonings that I bought. This is the Buffalo Ranch one. Two runny eggs. If you're not a fan of runny eggs, we can't be friends. I'm just picking, but seriously, what is your life? And then I've got the creamy bacon Walden Farms dressing. This is the calorie free one. I know a lot of people are against it, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do in a deficit and that one tastes fire, not gonna lie. Yes, I'm switching up the electrolytes today because of Valentine's. We're doing the strawberry lemonade. This one is really good. Not my top, but I do enjoy it. So I've got that over there and I season my eggs with, of course, Redmond's Real Salt. If you have not tried it, I'm telling you, you will be a believer. I was skeptical at first too, but when I switched over, I will not go back to anything else. In Burgess gets you a discount with all things Redmond's. And then this Primal Palette Breakfast Blend I get from Thrive Market and I love it on my runny eggs. It's so good. So I'm going to devour this before we get Trey Trey off the bus. It is dinner time and we are doing leftovers. I'm making this Valentine's Day super easy, but I am getting dessert ready now. So when dinner's done, you can let this cool off and we can dig right on in. Yes, please. Raspberry bread pudding by Lise Ellis. This is coming from February 2022. Brand spanking new. I cannot wait to try it. So I'm going to get this rolling. I'll show you what it looks like. So for dinner tonight, we are having leftovers of Elisa's chicken and dumplings. That's in her February 2022 meal plan. We had one serving left each before we start all the new things. I didn't want to waste and I didn't want to freeze it. It's for 338 calories and 30 grams of protein. Chicken and dumplings. We got some tweaking to do next time we make it. And then it's going to be spot on perfect. So next time we make it, I'll tell you what I would change. Y'all, can you even right now with this delicious looking raspberry bread pudding? Oh my lord. If it's as good as it looks and it tastes, we are in for a treat. Never skip dessert. So we got this raspberry bread pudding. I took a little bite as I was putting it on my plate and it's next level fire. Oh my gosh. 229 calories, 16 grams of protein. Now with the whipped cream, it's 244 calories. I put exactly five grams, two tablespoons on there. Oh my gosh. This may be my new obsession. Now this February 2022 meal plan is lit. It's lit and man, 
she freaking killed it with this raspberry bread pudding. You could do the same exact thing. And if you don't like raspberries, do blueberries, do strawberries, do peaches, whatever. That's what I plan on doing. Hills to the yes. Like I said last week, you want to get your 10,000 steps organized and clean your house. It will definitely do the job. Like Mondays have been beast mode on the activity. We did 169 protein, 45 grams of fat, 1730 cows, 140 net carbs, and 166 total to wrap out Valentine's Day, start of week seven. Let's keep the momentum going. However, I'm going to tell you guys, not going to sugarcoat it. Your girl is next level exhausted. last week's vlog I did not I have not gone up on weight on my pull day because it's a new circuit here recently we went up on weights and if we didn't go up on weights we went up on reps today also the gym got a little packed towards the end of my workout session I wanted to show you guys I like to do these occasionally I need to start doing them more often I did them today and I instead of doing the bicep curls on the machine you do some eccentric curls like this with the weights on the rack at Planet Fitness they go from like I think 25 up until three pounds so I grab the 15 pounders and I go 10 and then do a drop set go to 12 go to 10 8 5 and then 3 and when I get to 5 and 3 I do like 20 and let me tell you your biceps are freaking pumped and they are burnt the freak out oh my gosh it's such a great like finalizer to your like pull day oh my gosh cannot recommend it enough I need to start doing it again and I wanted to film it for you but like I said it was so crazy in there it's been crazy which is good I'm glad to see that we are almost in what March and you have the gym still freaking packed people are working on their health they didn't fall off the wagon and go back to their old ways and they are still killing it so I love it we worked on some pull-up work today so I did one pull up unassisted as you guys saw but also my goal now for the next two weeks is to do a pull up from a dead hang. So y'all have seen, I like to go like get a jump start and like get my grip and get my momentum and then do one. And that does count as a pull up, but I want to be able to do one from a freaking dead hang. So I 
put the resistance strap on there again today and we were able to do four with the strap so that makes me feel good because before I couldn't even do any even with the freaking strap so I feel good about that but I'm gonna keep working on it we did more of the like rope pull things I don't even know what they're called but I have to work on those because I don't know how to adjust the straps and I'm like nobody got time for that so I'm like working with whatever somebody else left behind I felt really strong today feeling super strong I didn't talk about the hair yesterday I am loving the freaking hair however on leg day your girl can't wear it down like this because we were drenched I swept my ass off on leg day so bad but on push and pull I don't sweat as much so I feel like we can wear it like this I've got some styles I want to try uh, that are like not all the way up because I can't put it all the way up in a ponytail anymore but like you know like some different styles I Pinterest it y'all but you know how Pinterest is deceiving it looks all cute and you go to do it and you look like freaking hot mess bedhead you're gonna work on it but I am loving it like no maintenance at all it's so easy to style like so easy to do the beachy waves and the curls I'm here for it 100% we may never go back long again also want to talk about muscles and females and the reason why I bring this up if you've been with me for a long time on my channel and you follow me and most of you guys are doing exactly what I'm doing in your journey as well for weight loss for fat loss and you are seeing significant results with strength training and not going on the hamster wheel with the cardio but I had a couple of people comment on last week's vlog about my muscles getting too big and me getting too muscular and this and that what you see guys on here with the workouts and with me posing that is with me with a pump that is with me Flexi. Like right now, yes, I have definition in my shoulders. There's definition in my biceps and my triceps, but they're not like exploding. Like they just look regular, right? Only when I'm like flexing and acting all crazy, do you're going to see that big pump. You're not seeing that all the time. So you're not walking around like freaking jacked unless you are like pumping your muscles up and you are like getting them jacked. And even after a while, if you have depleted your glycogen, you're not going to have that pump. You have it initially after your workout. So don't think that with you string training, you're going to look like all beast mode and look like I do in the pictures when I show you or when the little video segments that doesn't last. All right. That is just because of the pre-workout and me working the muscle group and the pump. And if I'm flexing, but when I'm not flexing, your girl looks like a normal female. We have the tonage, which you want, but you don't look all jacked like a bodybuilder. Don't be afraid of weightlifting. So many females are afraid of lifting a freaking weight because they think they're going to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Guys, you're not. You're not. It's going to actually give you more definition, make you look more feminine than if you were just doing cardio. Trust me, I did it. I did the running game. I killed myself with cardio, even with doing some strength training but not progressive overloading I would my, my ass was as flat as a pancake I had no curves no definition I was to my goal weight right of like 128 which is way too low for my frame and way too low where I needed to be for the physique that I wanted to be and I had no shape at all strength training is going to help you burn fat and help you gain muscle and shape in the process yes you can lose weight you can lose body fat with doing high protein anabolic you can lose weight on any lifestyle I've mentioned that several times as long as you're in a calorie deficit y'all and moving your body but definitely I think that you are going to be more happy with the end result if you eat higher protein and strength train and not be so cardio focused is cardio good for us absolutely it's great for your cardiovascular health I I highly recommend it that you do at least one day a week of cardio you do a warm-up you do your indie with a little bit of cardio but you don't have to kill yourself guys and that be all you focus on is cardio you need to focus on strength training progressively overloading on weight or reps each week is going to see results trust me on this if I could go back in time I would have did this much much sooner and again ladies don't be afraid of picking up a damn weight. I promise you, you're going to look more feminine than ever, and you're not going to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. 1205, lunchtime. I think I got it. I think I got to perfect the, the pita just a little bit as far as cook time, but everything else as far as proportion size. We got it, y'all. 437 calories. Protein is 27. I'm doing apples today. These are the sliced ones from Sam's Club. Just so convenient to go ahead and have them weighed out. And then the lesser evil avocado popcorn. Again, not my favorite, but we're going through it. I do love the Cherry Coke Zero. And we have the pulled pork on there versus the chicken today. So, and the bacon and the barbecue sauce and the cheese. It's going to be fire. So, so good. I will have that in that video and it will be perfected as far as time and all for you guys. See, I always try to make sure things are spot on before I share them with you. Whew, 
y'all. We got a winner, 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 pork dinner. It was so freaking fire, texture on point. Yesterday was not good the way that I made it. The chicken, not on point. That pork on there, or if you do like the shredded rotisserie chicken you can get from Walmart versus that pack, don't buy the pack, I'm telling you. That's good to like take on a road trip, but it ain't good on a normal day. This was fire. The texture of the pita, like crispy, like a crispy thin crust pizza that you want. Man, yes indeed. Cannot wait to share that with you guys. Almost three o'clock. It is snack time and it's time for protein gains. And my girl Jen here on YouTube and with Jen, she made me do it. She influenced me. I mean, I'm always looking for a good runny egg pan. I got this one hella cheap at Walmart, like no lie. And if it like does something funky over time, you just buy another one for $5, like best thing ever. She swears that this one was awesome. And let me tell you, like awesome. Like cook the eggs perfectly and you can cook four at a time, especially for the fam. And how cute are the hearts? I mean, that's what's suckered me in. Wish I would have had it for yesterday for Valentine's Day, but it's all good. Runny Egg Club, where are you at? Walden's Farms Creamy Bacon. It's the goat, I'm telling you, of the dressings. I have a lot of other ones to try, but I really like that one. And then the same chicken breast from yesterday, same electrolytes calories and protein on repeat just trying to eat more real protein if that makes sense versus gravitating towards the protein shakes built bars which you know i love those things and i will continue to eat those for like dessert and stuff but for afternoon snack i'm trying to get authentic protein in six o'clock taco tuesday we've got four of the banderita these are the street tacos love these so much can find them at walmart now 20 calories a piece so no matter what lifestyle you're doing they're great for a deficit Got five ounces of the Mexican potatoes I featured in a vlog or two back. Got the ground venison, all the toppings, Bold House Farm cilantro avocado yogurt dressing for 470 calories, 54 grams of protein. If you haven't tried these Banderita carb counter, they have them in bigger sizes too. The whole family loves these. You can't tell the difference between these and regular. So good, easy taco Tuesday night. 746, never skip dessert. Raspberry bread pudding by Lise Ellis on deck all week long, same calories. Same protein, minus the whipped cream tonight. Over 11,000 steps, your girl is tired, ready for this rest day tomorrow. Energy has been good though, so I'm feeling good for week seven. 172 on the protein today, 44 fat. 1763 calories were three over i'm fine with that honestly i've been super hungry today this might be the week of the hunger coming back 147 net carbs 185 total rest day tomorrow we'll see you guys thursday for push day don't you dare say that i want i want everything to fall apart when it's hard to me Cause my only crime was hoping There is something more than this Loneliness I feel But no one makes me feel less alive If I didn't fly yeah. The way you push my buttons just right but If I didn't fly yeah.
Mike was not there at the gym today. I went into my session feeling beast mode, feeling fire. I mean, we got the new Valentine's Day bossy print leggings. We returned those other ones. We got these and now the set is perfection. I must say, you know, like a badass with the set always makes you go harder. I truly believe that. That's why I love Buff Bunny stuff so much. Y'all know that. Go and watch that review video if you have not because it will help you when deciding on what you need to get, girl. I just felt really weak today. It went really weak. You could see in the lying chest presses that my left arm did not want to go up. I did something on Monday when I was doing the unassisted pull-ups. I didn't pull anything. I just tweaked something right here in my armpit by my left tata and it it doesn't hurt but I can feel it. It's ag aggravating if that makes sense. So when I go to lift in this area on my left side, I can totally feel it. It's kind of like bugging me and I didn't want to like go super beast mode so I didn't go up and poundage I just kept everything the same but we finished the circuit I had my hydro drug spill on me I even have footage of it I mean I'm just catching all kinds of things when when filming guys so I can forget the cameras on and like catching all kinds of things it's actually kind of cool I was trying to clean that up the gym was freaking packed which I'm here for but it was packed with all your like anabolic guys and they had some young guys right next to me so y'all talk about that y'all get intimidated all the time look I still get intimidated by the these buff guys they're over there flexing I mean you're not supposed to be doing that in Planet Fitness right but you know nobody's at my gym nobody cares they're over there flexing like lifting their shirts up taking video taking pictures and I'm like go ahead son like freaking be not full of yourself go for it they're working hard they're going beast mode and guess what they were motivating me to freaking go hard too and I was and it felt good even though I felt not strong like I have been in the beginning of the week it felt good to go beast mode it felt good to get everything done by the end I was done and dusted with push-ups and with doing the dead hang assisted pull-ups and the ropes I was just so done but the pump today y'all the pump was like fierce I don't know what's going on but I was like damn girl and again talking about the other day I'm you're not walking around looking swole jaw all the time y'all that's just like the pump from you taking your pre-workout all those things getting all the blood flowing to those muscle groups and it will fade throughout the day when you eat some more carbs it comes back carbs are our friend even though I didn't feel strong in the workout I felt strong afterwards because we had accomplished it we got it done don't let anybody tell you that every single workout is peachy keen because it's not that's why I like to keep things 100% real with you guys I know that some of y'all struggle each and every day with your workouts and guess what that is normal there it is normal enough none of it's easy for me I say that all the time all of this is freaking hard as hell and I have to push myself and I have to be my own like drill sergeant in my mind when I'm going through my workouts and be my own hype girl and freaking crank up my tunes and do what you have to do to get it done it's not easy if anybody's telling you that this is easy and that every single session they go through is peachy keen number one they're lying to you and number two they're not going hard enough also something that's going on this week and week seven is that I'm feeling hungry I'm feeling hungry again I expect to feel a little bit weaker not as strong and to feel hungry going forward in this cut being that we are dropping the weight a little bit and we are we're getting along so that's expected in a cut so if you are in a cut and you're feeling hungry and you're feeling not as strong as you were know that is normal because you're not eating your maintenance calories and that you are dropping weight and those things so that is expected but I have been having like I've been just randomly thinking oh an Oreo sounds great I don't even eat freaking Oreos like your girl will eat an Oreo but it's not like that's my first go-to you know my first go-to is a freaking Reese cup I'm like why am I thinking of Oreos right now so that is I, I know a lot of people in cuts have these things that go on like they start dreaming of food I mean that's not normal for me like that's not like me so that is just showing me that we definitely in a deficit we're definitely you know restricting ourselves it's okay though because once we get done with this cut we will reverse and we will get back to maintenance and I am a full believer y'all of enjoying the things that bring you joy memories over macros a hundred percent now should you do that every single day hell no but if you do that on a Saturday for one meal that is totally fine it is not going to erase everything that you've done and just like one healthy meal is not going to instantaneously make you skinny one like off plan meal and then a dessert is not going to make you fat and not make you gain all your weight back and everything else when you get on the scale and it fluctuates in 
weight, guys, that's going to be water. That's going to be inflation. That is not fat. So don't get upset if you got on, first off, don't get on the scale after you've eaten something the very next day. Give it a couple of days, let that water weight go away, and then you can get on the scale to gauge. But I, you know, the scale is not the end all be all. The way that you feel, the way that your clothes are fitting, y'all, my clothes are fitting like crazy. Like things that I knew around Christmas were hella tight now they are hella loose I'm like dang and we have lost six pounds in six weeks on this cut which is a healthy weight loss for sure I'm wanting to lose body fat and gain muscle I'm seeing the definition I'm feeling good I'm feeling I'm not feeling bad at all I'm not feeling low energy just the hunger uh, is coming every once and again and feeling like I'm like daydreaming about nonsense, but that's expected. That's expected on a cut, y'all. It's okay. Drink your diet soda. Drink your zero sodas. Chew your gum. Drink your water, and you get through, girl. So we are going to refuel right now, here soon, and make sure that we are getting everything that we need so we can keep on trucking along. We got a freaking leg day tomorrow. I'm excited about it though. Like upper body kill me this week. I'm, I'm ready to dust some legs. 12.15, I just got done filming this for that easy lunch video. So excited because I got it perfected with the crust and everything, hands down. Amazing, we've got some sliced apples and we've got some lesser evil avocado popcorn. Remember, that's not my favorite flavor, but we're going through it. Same exact calories, 435 calories and protein as I told you guys on Tuesday. I've got the pulled pork on there versus that chicken was definitely a no. And I'm excited to dig into this. Hungry, going to grab me a cherry Coke Zero outside from the fridge and get to grubbing. All those pita pizzas are fire. I cannot wait to bring y'all that easy lunch video. It should be coming. This week when you're watching, towards the end of the week, I have one new lunch idea to film and then it should be coming. So make sure notifications clicked. You don't wanna miss out. Super easy, macro-friendly, high protein. I know a lot of y'all get in a rut, especially for lunch, and this will definitely get you the hookup. So my girl is preaching. Preach bad. this, so preach. Well. Yes, indeed. Watching my girl in with Jen. If you're not subbed to her channel, I don't know what you're doing with your life. We've got our protein gains going on. So we've got the five and a half ounces of chicken tenderloins I prepped. I think that's the, I don't even know what seasoning that is. Don't even quote me. I got so many, I've lost track. We've got one of our heart-shaped eggs. Speaking of gin, she made me buy the pan. And we've got the Walden Farms creamy bacon on here for 195 calories, 35 grams of protein. I've been forgetting to tell you guys all kinds of things. Like, I've got the protein brain, apparently. I don't even know what's going on. Strawberry Lemonade Relight is the one I'm grabbing today. Making sure I get those electrolytes every single day. And Burgess gets you a discount with all things Redmond's. Love their salt. Seasonings are fire. And this is a must. Almost eight o'clock, never skip dessert and dessert on repeat. I think we've got three servings left that should finish me out for the week. Easy meal prep and delicious. 10,000 steps reached. Your girl is tired, ready to get my booty in the bed. 162 protein, 52 fat, 1744 cals, 138 net carbs, 165 total. To round out our Thursday, let's go Friday. Let's hopefully end the week strong. The year is 1991. Birds and people are living together in seemingly perfect harmony. Until one day, a young man catches fire. This is Phoenix.
Happy Friday! Well, week seven is kicking my ass. <laughs> like I started off with all my on my fridge saying, "Keep kicking ass." Week seven's kicking my ass, y'all. Oh my gosh! Like I felt weak yesterday. I did not feel super strong today. Like I was in a good headspace. Like I felt beast, but things felt heavy and then some things didn't it was weird today it was a weird workout where I was feeling strong on some things and others I wasn't but I was like done and dusted towards the end I did talk to my friend Clark my new gym buddy that I've mentioned here guys that had told me his story about having a stroke and how I motivate him when doing the weighted ropes because he's working on getting mobility back in his left arm and we actually did the ropes together today it was so cool and I was done and dusted and he was on the other side freaking killing it I was like you know what girl you have no excuses you have no excuses like freaking go hard because he says that I motivate him when he sees me and he was like it's so good to see you here he's been sick all week he was able to get back in the gym today was his first day so I was like you know what you have no excuses like Clark is showing up like you have to finish strong and we did but I am dusted done and dusted for sure explain last night Waylon got in trouble at school. All right, parents, let's go. Waylon got in trouble at school yesterday. We parent our children, okay? So, like, if they do something wrong, it's not like, oh, here's your tablet. Like, don't do it again. Like, no. Like, we had to take his Pokemon card. That's a big deal. Took his Pokemon cards away from him, and he had, like, a total meltdown for, like, a long time. I was like, okay, dinner's going to be ice cold because I can't talk to you guys. So I was like, you know what? Let him have his meltdown in the background. You guys don't have to hear all that foolishness. And your girl was parenting. I was parenting. So that's why you didn't hear me explain the pork chops. But let me tell you, those smothered French onion pork chops from Elise Ellis's meal plan this month. Oh my gosh. Like freaking fire. Oh my gosh. So, so good. I was not a fan. You're going to see tonight. I'm actually going to eat it just because it like fits in my macros. And I don't feel like changing anything out. On my rest day Wednesday, we had the bang bang shrimp. It wasn't her fault, my fault. I cooked the shrimp on the Blackstone and they just did not get crispy and did not get the way they were supposed to be. So I will definitely tweak that next time. I write notes on her recipes on things I need to tweak as far as like seasonings, cooking, all that good stuff. That way the next time it can be perfection. But those pork chops, perfection and you need them in your life. Why have y'all been asking about the hair? I love this hairstyle I did today. So freaking easy and so cute. However, one of my rubber bands popped on me at the end of my session. Thank you, Jesus. And now I look like a hot mess express. We're going to be walking up in Tarje in here because your girl doesn't care. I've got all the grocery pickups to do. Feel so good that this week is done. I feel so good. I'm like at the end, I was like, oh my gosh, like I can't go on. I'm feeling hungry. I'm feeling all the feels on week seven. Like it's so funny how and crazy how you have awesome weeks and you feel freaking beast and you feel like satisfied with everything you're doing. And then the very next week you feel like something is, is like not the same. I don't know. We're just going to keep on trucking forward. Like I keep saying, keep showing up, doing the damn thing. Consistency wins guys. Don't let these things like these workouts get in your head and derail you from showing up. Don't quit on yourself. You can do it. They're not all going to be great workouts. And I hope that I showcase that to you guys because I don't want you to ever think that my workouts are beast mode every single time. I'm feeling strong every single time. Like easy. They're never easy, like I say, but they're not always killer. They're not always killer. But the most important thing is that you still did your circuit. You still did the weight you were supposed to do, the reps you did, and you finished. You finished the week strong, no matter if it sucked or not. You showed up and you did the damn thing and you should be proud of that. Don't be negative on yourself because you felt weak or you didn't feel as strong as you had in the past or maybe you couldn't do as many reps as you did the other day. You still showed up. You could have sat your ass at home and watched Netflix and binged on bonbons. I'm just saying. You're showing up. You're doing the damn thing. You're being consistent and that's all you can ask for. You have to trust in that process. Watch last week's video if you did not watch it because it is one that you have to watch, guys. It is a game changer video for people that are getting discouraged because the scale's not moving since the beginning of the year or you're not seeing results instantaneously. Go watch that video. I've had all the things going on this week. Mom life, struggle life with the workouts. I mean, it's, it's life, y'all. Life happens. One o'clock, next level 
starving. Like I need, I say this all the time, girl on Fridays, your grocery days, you need to bring a fair life shake or something post-workout. And I totally do, but I really didn't think I was going to be out that long. You know, the struggles and I am ready to eat. Kids don't do this at home. Don't eat like three hours after you work out. I've got the pita pizza again with the pulled pork on there. Apples and popcorns just been my jam. 432 calories, same protein. I've been eating this all week long. It's been super easy, filling, delicious. And this is what happens when you're next level hangry after hours working out you could see it didn't take me long to eat all that that was a lot of freaking food girl when you gotta learn just got tray off the bus and gains but boring i know we got some chicken breast five ounces 114 calories 27 grams of protein the last of my beloved creamy bacon walden's farm i don't think i have any more on backup but i have other ones i need to go through and then the goat for me the blackberry immunity redmond's real light electrolytes we're going in with that today and I had more runny eggs to do, like it's been eggs and chicken for the snack in the afternoon to up that protein game, but I am just not feeling the bang bang shrimp. Like I was telling you guys earlier, it's not anything on that recipe. It's just the way that I cooked them didn't come out fire and I'm not looking forward to it and that's not acceptable for your girl. So I am doing something for dinner we haven't done in a long time. So I had to move some of those calories to dinner time. Quarter to six, Frenchy Egg Friday is back, baby. Oh my gosh, if you're an OG, before I even did anabolic, this was my jam. Every Friday, we had to have this for lunch, for brunch, whatever the case may be. We've got it again, 250 grams of egg whites that I season with cinnamon and a little bit of monk fruit. That's it. And then y'all, I don't, uh, it's a disaster falling everywhere. I don't know what happened to my PB fit. Like, I guess I threw it away because I was like American dream nupper all the way. Who needs this ish? But I was looking for it tonight because I wanted something a little less calorie, but no fret. All you got to do is use your PE science protein powder mix it with a little bit of water. That's what we got on there. And it tastes fire. I do that all the time time for glaze for the boys like just to amp up the protein we've got a ton of fresh fruit on there here for it and y'all wait till next week's breakfast oh yes i've got something in my sleeve for you guys it's not this but it's something pretty close we've got some avocado toast with some cottage cheese and some everything with the bagel seasoning two turkey patties we've got 67 grams of protein for everything that you see here and 527 calories i was craving breakfast for dinner like, I did not want to eat that bang bang shrimp. I did not cook it right, so we are doing this instead. Y'all, I need to bring this back in the rotation for my rest days because it was next level. And y'all, do not sleep on mixing protein powder with water and putting it on top of your freaking eggs. Like, that was next level. You have to add a little bit of monk fruit to your eggs. I know some people are like anti egg whites sweet but i'm telling you it is so fire with cinnamon monk fruit and this on top was way better than pb fit like it was meant to be almost eight o'clock never skip dessert on repeat because it's that good and we got it prep for all week how easy a one-stop shop to meal prep and you've got whatever all week long highly recommend met our ten thousand steps i'm next level tired and exhausted 187 on the protein 41 fat right there on the nail with 1760 calories 143 net carbs 170 total rounding out week seven y'all but i got a little surprise for y'all when we end this and you want to see this happy sunday now and yes your girl is in her leopard walmart moo moo with pockets don't knock it until you try it we make him moo moo sexy again that's what i tell my husband anyway he's not convinced we weighed in yesterday morning at 143.8 on week seven drastic drop in weight the past two weeks that's a one and a half pound drop almost since last week kind of alarming to me i'm not gonna lie to you guys because y'all know my main goal on this cut was to lose body fat lose some weight body fat gain muscle gain strength this week has been the week of losing strength halfway through the week and feeling kind of tired and not feeling the gas in the tank like i have been feeling the past couple of weeks and then that drop was an affirmation that we've got to change something so I told you guys, oh, we're just going to keep things the same. We have been. We've been consistent. We've been patient and trusting in the process, but I don't want that scale to get too low, and I don't want to continue on this cut not being able to lift like I have been and gaining strength and gaining muscle. That's just not my goal, and I really don't want the scale to go down anymore. The scale is not important to me for me and my journey right now, and that number is just a number. I want to feel strong. I want to look bigger in certain areas, 
smaller in certain areas, body recomp, and by me just drastically losing weight and not feeling the strength, we're not gonna get to it. You've got to eat, guys. You've got to fuel your body to be able to grow in muscle and in strength in certain areas when lifting. So I did up the calories, not much. I think I was in a 14% deficit. Now we're in 11% deficit, so it's up by 100 calories, but I did revamp all my macros, and I'm gonna talk about that with you guys for week eight, so make sure to stay tuned to that. So we had a big drop again this week, guys, but also a big drop in strength and everything feeling hella heavy. So we don't want that going into week eight. I am going hard on this cut as you guys have been watching. So I've got four weeks left of this cut and I want to get every ounce out of it. I am pushing myself in 2022. We are going freaking beast and I want to see results. I know what I need to do. And we're going to keep on trucking. Couple of things though. On Tuesday, you're watching on Monday, hopefully. On Tuesday, the 22nd, American Dream Nut Butter is launching their new St. Patrick's Day collection. I did a live taste test over on Instagram, but I wanted to share with my YouTube peeps because I know some of you aren't over on IG. This one right here, Shamrock and Cashew Butter, it's almost empty because after the live, I went ham and ate like half of this freaking container. I'm not exaggerating with you. This one, I'm going to be ordering some backups because it is that freaking good. I probably shouldn't because it's dangerous. It's not super minty, so if you're not a big mint fan like myself, don't worry. It it's, tastes like a Girl Scout Thin Mint cookie in a jar. Like, it, it's a problem. Also, pot of gold which is their peanut butter y'all know i'm usually not about the peanut butters but here lately they've been spot on with them this pot of gold one has chunks of all kinds of pretzels and chocolate chips. It's so drippy. You're gonna love this one too. And Burgess gets you a discount and supports me. Thank you so much for those that have used it and plan on using it. Make sure to check out this one. This launch is one of the ones that I'm most impressed with here lately. So y'all know I've been kind of down on the ones lately, Valentine's and some of the others. This one's a must. You have to get those two at least. Also, I'm like a total slacker and I did not pick giveaway winners from the week before last vlog. So the winner of the PE Science Protein Powder is Mar Marlin, Marlene, and then the winner of the mixed built bar package is Chris. Yes, indeed. So y'all make sure to send me a email. I have my email link down below. We'll get all that shipped to you guys soon. So thank you so much for everyone that entered the giveaway and we'll, we'll be doing those sporadically. So make sure you have everything clicked down below. Thank y'all so much for watching today's video. I hope it was insightful, motivational, and inspirational and showing you that not all weeks are going to be perfect, but we keep showing up. We keep doing the damn thing, putting that work in. And obviously you're going to see results, guys. I'm living proof of that each and every every week to show you guys that it can be done if you put the work in and you have to be patient, trust in the process. Make sure to watch next week because we're going to be experimenting on ourselves and seeing how we feel, seeing our strength and seeing what the scale says at the end of the week. I love you guys so much. Y'all have an awesome week and keep killing it out there. I see you. Make sure you keep tagging me on Instagram. We'll see you for week eight. Let's go, baby. Yeah.